You joined me partway through building the Civic. I had grand plans of recording the whole thing and putting it on the YouTube, but I didn't. I've not recorded anything. So I'm gonna pick up here. This is where it's gonna get interesting and start building the car back up. I did record some things which I'll put after this, uh, and we'll start going through building the car back up. Interior is pretty much all stripped out, just need to get the carpet out. I'm sure this is how they are from factory. Definitely not me bodging it back in the first time round. Cut the carpet, not the brake pipe. And just like that, carpet's out, dashboard's out. I think we'll pull the car up on the ramp and start stripping the engine out. We've come to HCR today, everyone's going to recognise it here, but we've come here because Josh is making the cage in my car. I've mainly been getting in the way and watching, I'm not having anything to do with how this is done because I'm not clever enough. I've also been doing some very bad attempts at making stuff, so the EGs do suffer with clearance for the top camber arms if you're running the car quite low, which I do. So I've cut out the OEM strut tops and made these extensions, which have ended up being a lot more drastic than anticipated. But what it means is we get loads more clearance and only just enough clearance for the bonnet, but loads more clearance for the hard race top arm. It's either do it like this, or do it twice, which takes longer anyway. That's better. That one's better from this side. Tuck it like that and come up with it. Yeah, it looks good from this side. Just saying to Josh, it looks very serious now. It's got a seat and a door bar and everything. It looks sweet. Thanks, Josh. No problem. It's not what he was saying five minutes ago. <laughs> I've spent far too much time painting inside this engine bay. And dependent on what clips I actually found will depend how much sense this makes. But this is the freshly painted strut tops that I'd been trying to make and trying to make them fit in. And um, you can kind of see the extra clearance we've gained up here. If I get this light on the case, you can probably see better. So in there, that's where the camber arm's gonna sit. The cage that you saw being put together has now been completely finished and painted. Thank you. 
I did try and paint just these strut tops, um, but they came out two completely different colours. I'll put a little picture in so you can see, but this is how it looked here before I painted this section. So I have had to do it all again. A lot of stuff that I didn't plan to do, which has put me a little bit behind schedule. By the time this video is coming to you, I think it'll be four weeks before I'm taking this car out for its first testing session. So we've got a lot of building to do. Josh on telly, always on telly. Famous engine building man. We're just talking down the new K20 inlet cam. Um, gonna flip it over and do oil pump and stuff. I've um, got everything laid out ready to go. I'm real tidy and Josh makes a special type of mess. <laughs> keep banging on about how clean this engine is but we just pulled the sump off it and it's literally fucking I keep getting upset because I'm replacing stuff that's really good with stuff that's new because I'm tight but look at it it's like a brand new thing <sighs> never mind so the K24 oil pump is off we've blocked off this little oil jet that Josh said will eat my bearings if I don't and now we've got to modify the oil pump to this bit of crank guard here that's beefed up. So, is this an industry secret or can I put this on the internet? Yeah, it's what you have to do. This is well documented. Yeah, yeah. We've got to trim down this brand new oil pump, about 10 mil off all of it, which I'm not trusted to do, so it'll fit. First turn. So this is a bit where you have to cut it out here. Yeah. Nice. So me and Josh have completed putting the engine back together. We've now got a baffled sum, which I didn't record because it was a bit fiddly, but we've got a clockwise motion baffle in there. All the timing chain and everything's been renewed. And I've also been doing a bit of MIMS prep. I've sent a couple of bits off for vapor blasting and these have come back looking ace. They're like brand new. So we've got the water neck, the RSP intake manifold. I've painted the rocker cover back to silver, spruced up a cover, couple of other little bits. I'm gonna to get to putting the engine together now because I'm gonna get the engine back in it as soon as possible. We're only about four weeks away from uh, going racing. So we've now got this engine completely complete, got all the new bits bolted onto it. It's pretty much buttoned up, ready to go back into the car. One last little thing that I'm going to do is put these hybrid racing shifter springs in. So I've got the ones for the gear selector and the detent springs as well. We had a few gearbox issues last year, which we won't go into too much, but I'll, um, I'll put these in. The black ones you can see on the left are the upgraded hybrid ones and the silver ones are the OEM ones. So I've never actually stripped this down before, but it's these springs here that we're replacing. No idea how to do this, but what I can see is that it is all held together with basically springs. So I reckon when I try and take this apart, it is gonna explode. <clears throat> I've got a spare, so we're just gonna send it.
This is the only bolt I can see, so I'm presuming that we have to undo this. Just kind of trying to hold it together at the same time to make sure it doesn't all fly off in different directions. There's a little washer here. Don't want to lose that. Seems like this just slides off. I'm gonna put something in this gap so it stays together. That'll do. It looks pretty simple now. Little washer can stay there. So we've got the these OEM springs getting replaced. With these hybrid ones. Um, they look the same. Oh, the, the OEM one's pretty soft. The hybrid one, a little bit less soft, but still pretty soft. Oh, there's a much bigger difference in the small one. I guess we just slide those on. Then it was the cup. I'm going to talk this to pretty tight. that seems to be the install for these hybrid racing shifter springs. Easy. That's everything ready to go back together now. So we'll close out for you. We'll leave it at that and we'll see you in the next one.